Welcome to this video. This is Enrique Agro from Safe Load Testing Technologies. Next, I will give you a brief and simple explanation about the PSD, the power spectral density, using transport simulation. We will avoid the complex mathematics involved in the PSD in order to help beginners to understanding better. With our own experience on different vehicles, we can remember the vibrations over ourselves. Even we can identify different vehicle types by its noise. That noise uh, is a vibration. The PSD is the scientific tool for identifying and quantifying that vibrations. The PSD is a mathematical method to study the stochastical process. A stochastical process is random system which evolves with a variable, typically the time. And this can be studied from a statistical point of view. As the vibrations is random and changes with the time, PSD is perfect for this. The PSD defines how many signal you have for every second, for every frequency. A comment, we should keep in mind that the PSD is closer to the quantifying all the information, so that should be taken care. If we take a look at the PSD graph from transport, the lower axis, the abscissa shows the frequency. At the left side, the ordinate, we can see it showing the distribution magnitude. The graph is showing the working bandwidth, the frequency range analyzed at the graph. It shows the maximum frequency and the, level, and the lower frequency too. The maximum frequency is related to the sampling frequency. The minimum frequency is related to the size of the sample collected or selected while processing the PSD. The graph representation uses a double logarithm because the signal normal has several magnitude order difference between them for the same bandwidth. Resonances are easy to find by taking a look to the signal. The resonances are at the frequencies where the peak appears. The surface under the graph is the RMS value of the signal. For deeper knowledge regarding PSD, you can search about fast Fourier transfer or the wiener kinchin einstein theorem. This theorem can be found under other names too. You can also can take more information in our webpage regarding transport simulation, data recording and other issues. Maybe we will find again in other videos. Bye. Adios.